Why IT audit? For the longest time, no one ever even considered doing IT audit. But financial systems, they're automated now. They're on computer systems, they're on networks, they're at risk for unauthorized changes. In order to determine the level of risk for those unauthorized changes, fraud, mismanagement, things like that, they had to start looking at the IT side to look at logical access, segregation of duties, to look at the network itself to see if encryption was in place. And financial auditors that were in the auditing positions were not familiar with a lot of the new technology and their comfort level and their skill level um, was not of the level needed to perform an adequate IT audit. An IT auditor needs training in computer sciences and practical IT management. They need to be able to learn the systems and understand the technology. There are many sources such as CIS, NIST that will give you a list of controls and best practices that you can use to perform an IT audit. What you will find is these sources are scattered, they're many, they are not in a format that you can pull together to perform a complete audit. What Srini Kalathur and his partners have worked on is a product called Checklist 2.0. Checklist 2.0 brings together all of the best practices from all of the sources that are out there. You don't have to do the research. He's done it for you. They're all in one place. They address SOX, PCI requirements, the European requirements, um, all of the new ISOs, ISO 2003, everything's there for you. So you have the best practices to test against when they do not have policies in place that establish their own best practice for their own business environment. And then Checklist 2.0 has also brought together pre-worded sample control tests that you can use for meeting your control, writing up your control objectives, the control activity that you're going to be testing, and help with pulling it together in a format that easily flows from objective to test, to test results, to a conclusion that when you bring it all together will define whether exceptions actually correspond to a deficiency that needs to be reported.